Have you ever stopped to ponder about our relationship with technology in this modern age? It's a fascinating conundrum, a paradox of sorts. On one hand, we're living in an era where information and communication are at our fingertips, connecting us with people thousands of miles away in a matter of seconds. Yet on the other hand, this constant flow of data, this ceaseless need to stay updated, to be in the know, can isolate us in ways we never imagined. We're so engrossed in our digital lives that we often forget the world beyond our screens. The never-ending stream of notifications, emails and updates can lead to a sense of overwhelm, causing stress and anxiety. It's a curious conundrum, isn't it? We're more connected than ever, yet somehow more alone. It's as if we're sacrificing our peace of mind at the altar of connectivity. But does it have to be this way? Is there a way to strike a balance? Let's explore this further. What if I told you that the digital overload isn't just a figment of your imagination? Yes, it's real, and it's a growing concern in today's hyper-connected world. Our lives have become entwined with technology in ways that were unimaginable just a few decades ago. While the digital world brings convenience and connection, it also brings an overload of information and demands on our attention that can be overwhelming. Digital overload, or the feeling of being swamped by digital communications and information, is a modern-day stressor that's impacting our mental well-being. It's that sensation of drowning in a sea of emails, social media notifications, and endless streams of content. The constant pings and alerts can leave us feeling anxious, overwhelmed, and unable to focus on the task at hand. And it's not just about the sheer volume of digital content we consume, it's also about the quality. The online world is filled with sensational headlines, misinformation, and negativity that can feed into our anxieties leading to a state of constant stress and worry. Moreover, the lines between work and personal life have become blurred, with many of us checking work emails late into the night and first thing in the morning. This constant connectivity can leave us feeling like we're always on, leading to burnout and a decrease in productivity. Research has shown that digital overload can impact our memory, creativity and ability to think deeply. It can also lead to physical symptoms such as headaches, eye strain and sleep disturbances. But perhaps the most concerning aspect of digital overload is the way it disconnects us from ourselves. When we're constantly plugged in, we can lose touch with our thoughts, feelings and the world around us. We become passengers in our own lives, swept along by the digital current. So why does this matter? Well, our brains weren't designed to process the sheer amount of information we're exposed to in the digital age. And when we overload them, it can impact our mental and physical health, our relationships, and our overall quality of life. It's clear to see our digital lifestyles might be doing more harm than good. What if we could reclaim our time, our focus, and our lives from the clutches of digital overload? Imagine a world where you're not constantly bombarded by notifications, where your mind is free to wander, to think, to truly be present in the moment. This isn't some far-off utopia. It's a world you can create for yourself starting today through a digital detox. A digital detox, simply put, is a period of time during which you voluntarily abstain from using digital devices. This could be for a few hours each day, a whole day each week, or even a week-long retreat. The specifics are up to you, but the goal remains the same, to break free from the constant barrage of digital information and stimulation and reconnect with the real world around you. You might be thinking, why would I want to do that? I need my devices for work, for staying connected, for entertainment. And while that's true, the constant connectivity also comes with a price. It keeps our brains in a state of perpetual alertness, leading to stress, fatigue and even burnout. It fragments our attention, making it harder to focus and think deeply. It robs us of our time, often without us even realizing it. The benefits of a digital detox can be profound. Reduce stress, improved focus, better sleep. These are just a few of the potential rewards. But perhaps the most significant benefit is a renewed sense of control over your own life. Instead of being at the mercy of your devices, you're in charge. You decide when to connect and when to disconnect. Moreover, a digital detox offers an opportunity to reconnect with oneself and with nature, to enjoy the simple pleasures of life, like a walk in the park or a conversation with a loved one, without any digital distractions, to experience life in its raw, unfiltered form. 
In a world where we're constantly connected, it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters. Our devices have become extensions of ourselves, and we often forget that there's a world beyond the screen. But by stepping away from our devices, even for a little while, we can regain perspective, find balance, and rediscover the joy of real human connection. A digital detox might just be the solution we need. A digital detox may seem daunting, but with the right strategies, it can be a refreshing and rewarding experience. This statement might sound like a tall order, especially considering how ingrained technology is in our everyday life. However, with a few practical tips, it's entirely possible to strike a healthier balance. First and foremost, setting clear boundaries is essential. This might mean designating certain hours of the day as tech-free time. Perhaps you could start with the first hour after waking up and the last hour before going to bed. This can help your mind wake up in a more natural manner and wind down more effectively in the evening. In addition, consider having tech-free zones in your home. The dinner table, for example, can be a perfect place to start. This can help promote more meaningful conversations and interactions with your family or roommates. Finding offline activities that you genuinely enjoy is another crucial step. Think about what you like to do that doesn't involve screens. Maybe it's painting, reading, gardening, playing a musical instrument, or simply going for a long walk. Engaging in these activities can help you realize that life can be fulfilling and enjoyable, even without the constant buzz of technology. Remember, it's not about going cold turkey. Gradually reducing screen time can be more effective and less overwhelming. Start by cutting back just a few minutes each day. Over time, you'll find that you are spending less and less time glued to your screens and more time engaged in the real world. It's also important to turn off unnecessary notifications. The constant ping of social media updates, emails and news alerts can be a major source of distraction. By turning off these notifications, you can control when you engage with technology rather than letting it dictate your day. Another tip is to replace digital activities with physical ones. Instead of texting a friend, why not meet them for a coffee or a walk in the park? Instead of watching a movie, why not read a book? These small changes can make a big difference in reducing your screen time. Lastly, consider doing a regular digital detox. This could be one day a week, a weekend each month, or even a week each year. This time can be used to disconnect from the digital world and reconnect with yourself and your surroundings. It's a chance to reset, recharge, and remind yourself of the simple pleasures in life. These are just a few tips to help you embark on a successful digital detox. Remember, the process is different for everyone, so don't be too hard on yourself if you slip up. The key is to keep trying and to focus on the positive changes you're making. Remember, the goal isn't to completely eliminate technology, but to create a healthier relationship with it. So take a deep breath, power down, and give yourself the gift of a digital detox. You may just find that the peace and tranquility you discover is more rewarding than any notification or update. So, are you ready to take back control and reconnect with yourself in a distracted world? We live in a time where our lives are intertwined with technology, where we often forget the beauty of disconnecting and embracing the silence. It's time to remember. Imagine what it would feel like to have a day without the constant pings and buzzes, to have a day where your mind isn't pulled in a thousand different directions by the demands of your devices. This is the gift that a digital detox offers. It's not just about turning off your phone or computer. It's about switching on life, about finding the joy in the little things that we often overlook. The benefits are tremendous. Improved focus, better sleep, deeper connections with those around you, and above all, a sense of peace and calm that seems to be in short supply these days. Give it a shot. Take the leap. Your mind will thank you.